need to see when I'm done talking. AI, how you feeling? You feeling good? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready, coach. I just wanted to let you know that I've been talking with the coach, and you're going to begin some more minutes moving forward, starting tonight. Real? Yeah. Thank you, coach. You've been playing well, AI. Keep it up. I will. Thanks again. Charles, my office. Let's go. Thanks for joining us live for NBA basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. Looking at the Lakers, they took the win in their last game against the Trailblazers in Portland. And anytime you come off the bench, you know your role. And that night, it was about scoring. Well, on the road, you need as many contributors as you can find. And before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge. Well, guys, we know when you talk about dedication, Chris Paul is among the greatest. Now, he says... Tremendously competitive with great attention to detail, David. Thanks. And with the long season ahead, for the best teams, Chris, you get the feeling they wish the playoffs could start tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, didn't we see that with Golden State last year? It looked like they were a little bored during the season. Right. But what happens during the playoff season? That's uh -huh. why we call it two different seasons. But once you reach that uh, elite level... Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Let's see if Michael he can hold Beast, me up. He's checked in for JaVale McGee. Brandon Ingram comes in for Kyle Kuzma. AI is checked in for Harris. Arjan Rondo is subbed in for Lonzo oh, Ball. Okay. And then for Houston, Nene, he's checked in for Clint Capella. P.J. Tucker comes in for Chris. And Gordon subbed in for Carmelo Anthony. So on the floor for Houston. Far, you got that the engine better. of this team, Paul and Harden in the backcourt. E.J. Tucker is out there with Gordon. Then it's Nene, and at the five, down low. Here's Beasley. Good D by Harden. And, and already, they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backcourt. And there's the foul. It'll okay, go let's on see if I can hold him. That's his first foul. Every once in a while, we hear about the brotherhood of the NBA. See, Webb, when you hear that term, what does it mean to you? It means it's the truth. When I got to the NBA as a rookie, the thing that amazed me the most was that I was already part of a fraternity. There was That's no fake. It shouldn't happen. having to, <laughs> to, to be um, kind of welcomed in. You are welcomed in once you're part of the NBA. Guys want to see you do well. Right. Not against them. Not against their team. But guys want to see you do well because they know the work, the effort, the sacrifice that it takes to get to this level. And that's a really refreshing feeling, knowing the guys got your best interest as long as it isn't against them that night. Great perspective on that topic. Shot clock at five. Here's Tucker. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. LeBron, let me get a rebound. Come on. First opportunity to play Houston this season. Yeah, and this game kicks off a four-game season series between the two teams. Yeah, and it might not be the rivalry that a lot of the conference matchups are, but who knows? Maybe this is the year it heats up a little bit. Green against Ingram. Green kicks to Gordon. A three-pointer, no good. I'm surprised he didn't make that. Lakers leading by nine. AI passes to Ingram. And Beasley gets it to go on the assist from Ingram. Beasley's got his first two points of the night. And already with the commanding lead, a terrific offensive performance. Oh, okay, you've done your job so far, but the question is now, can they sustain this level of energy? There's still a lot of game to play. Shoots from 14. Misses off the left Dude, iron. why can I not make Rockets these shots? By 11. Outside Gordon. Oh. Okay. 
and then Gordon with the dunk. And that right. first quick like step that. of Gordon, I mean, super effective at getting him space, which gets him to the James, a screen on Gordon. Here's AI. No good on that last second attempt. Dude, my shot's not falling. And I don't so know it's LeBron do. James making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. He witnessed him delivering a series of three-pointers as he notched three total in the quarter. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've got a minute now. Let's hear what it was like for AI. Uh, I look back on it, and it was just a surreal experience, you know, uh, getting the call up, joining the team. Um, everything happened so fast, I didn't have time to, like, overthink it or overanalyze it. So it was a bit of a ride, but, I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way, given the circumstances. And that first game must have been a whirlwind for him. Joining the team when he did with that much on the line, that's a lot of pressure to drop anyone into. AI showed, though, he could handle it and prove to be an asset. Well, okay. Yeah. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? And through that first period, for me, their work on the glass has been the difference. Finally. Well, it means extra possessions, and that's certainly... It should not have taken that long right to make it three. So on the floor for Houston, they've got Nene, Paul out there with Gerald Green. Then it's P.J. Tucker, and it's Ennis right. in at the three slot. Oh, so composed and confident. I mean, Paul isn't the biggest guy. That doesn't stop him from getting it done inside. Oh, come on. You give Magic Johnson credit. Oh, the City of Angels, oh. Lakers wanted to make a big splash in free agency, and they did. <laughs> Landing the biggest free agent that they could. Look, Landing LeBron that instantly made their offseason the success. I mean, it, it took a lot to recruit LeBron. Uh, give Magic Johnson. What are you credit. doing? Come on. Uh, this franchise has been the talk uh, since he signed on. Who's back up? Got a piece of it. Give me that. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. And a good example there of why it's important to change ends quickly. Yeah, talent in this league has it so that now pretty much every team can push the pace. You have to get back on defense. Now a timeout called by Houston. Well, a high-octane offense in Houston. That's been a staple for any of Mike D'Antoni's teams. The Rockets, they do it a little differently. Iso ball, half court, threes, get out and run. They get buckets. Wide open look. Okay. Here's Harden and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Oh, I have three. I gotta show that. Had a triple double. That, that was so amazing. I, I gotta mention uh, that, that that's 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 incredible. It's his first trip to the line. And when you shoot 86 from the line like he did last season, you usually cash in on those opportunities. And the Rockets last season, second in the league in two-point percentage, but Chris last in the league in two-point attempts. Can you believe it? I mean, they shot more threes than twos, actually. Uh, uh, that's crazy. I, I, I mean, you might say, well, take it inside. Like the those. Rockets are looking at points per shot. By that metric, they're threes neck and neck with the twos. Nene kicks to Gordon. Nene, the screen. Gordon dishes to Nene. And the first shot of the night for him, no good. Lakers leading by 15. James in the post, guarded by Tucker. AI with the bucket. Shots like water. Beginning to pull away. Really effective play calling halfway through this one. Well, they figured out what's working, and that's what they're going to keep hammering on. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Nene, the pass to Harden, and the jam by Harden. Oh, and Harden is just ferocious with his dunk, just ramming it in the defense's face. LA's gone, 7 of 11 from deep tonight, using the three-pointer to their advantage. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Harden's got the ball. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And here we go, fast break, and AI's got it. And AI throws it down. Mm -hmm. I like that. An elite passer is James too. always seems to make the right decision. 
And so it's the Los Angeles he would make Lakers. that though. With an 18 point That's lead crazy. as the quarter comes to a close. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That As we begin the second half, first half wasn't even close, guys, and we'll see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same. So it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. Houston with a big group substitution here. I Nene, got 12. He's checked I need, in for Clint I Capella. AJ Tucker comes Easy. in for Marquise Chris. Green, he's checked in for Anthony. And Gordon oh, in for James Harden. Ajan Rondo is out there with AI. Then there's Beasley. Oh, okay. Then it's Brandon Ingram. And it's hard in the three. Exact That's who's in the game for the Lakers. And if that doesn't get them fired up, guys, nothing will. Greg, just what the doctor ordered, huh? Some high-flying annex to narrow the deficit. Give the loose D an assist on that one. Get a body on him. And it's Gordon God. finishing it off. Well, it doesn't take long for Gordon to get the hot hand. He loves getting to his spot and capitalizing. Well, one thing that sold Eric Gordon on joining the Rockets was the strength of their training staff. Hariza told him, you feel 10 years younger here. And he certainly looks healthy and rejuvenated. Indicative of what we've seen tonight. One team being the aggressor, the other failing to react. We know the saying, numbers don't lie. You can see it up there on the scoreboard. Good, and Paul gets the back. assist. 19 points for Eric Gordon. Well, he's doing his best to get them back into this game. He's been money from Come the on. field. Let me get that. Rondo kicks to AI. And Hart has it in the corner. Back to AI. He scores a six bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. Well, it's nice to have an option like him every time down the court. Rockets trail by 14. Outside Gordon. Bobbed up there for Green and out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Oh, that, that's just a lack of communication. Two guys just not on the same page. James checked in for Hart. 35 seconds left here in the third quarter. AI outside. And he drops in the layup. Doing the AI has yeah, got 16 points. Well, you can't find much better shot than that one. Paul passes to Gordon. Five on the clock. Back to Paul. The 11 footer, and he gets the jumper to drop. Paul's got 13 points in the second half. Okay. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double digit ball game. Laker. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feed. I mean, well, if you're the coaching staff, I mean, you're pumped up. This highlight will not only make it on the TV, it'll make it into the film session tomorrow. And we welcome you back as we get nice. going here on the fourth oh, quarter. Oh, you got to finish break those, and man. change everything. All fueled up and ready to and go. I'm gonna get back on set the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. Taking a look at the Rockets. Gordon is at the two with Green playing the three. Nene is out there with P.J. Tucker. And it's Paul in at the one spot. Big time on, scoring dude. is always a premium, Chris, when you're evaluating players on the offensive side. What do you hope to find as you kind of break down their game? I hope to find that you can dribble, shoot, and pass. Because if, if you can do those things and you're a great scorer, then I know that if you get double teamed, you can find an open man. Get yourself. That if you have the part that. of an unselfish player that you're willing to think two, three plays ahead of how to set someone else up that's struggling. Because a great player can always get their own. And also on the offensive side of the ball, are you careless? Or do you value possessions? Do you make easy turnovers? And if you do make a turnover, over in the offensive end what is your temperature like defensively will you run back and get back and try to get a stop what type of player are you overall great offensive players are result oriented not necessarily seeking individual numbers or acclaim and, and that's that's a big part of my evaluation i don't know what's happening defensively but they're not putting oh. up any resistance tucker can't get it to go and, and barely anyone in the area and still he whiffs on the bunny 
Stolen by Tucker. That shouldn't have happened. But okay. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. Here's Gordon. Up and in. That's his tenth make in the contest. He has only so taken trash. 15 shots. Oh, the lost art of the mid-range J. Gordon just measured it perfectly, squaring up and knocking it down. Timeout called the Lakers. And P.J. Tucker, a rugged physical it. defender at the forward. And here's the guy, second round pick, back at O's. On the free throw, no good. Well, Greg, you knew that the Laker front office and Magic were going to do everything they could to bring in big name free agents, and they succeeded. They got the biggest name of them all in LeBron. LeBron coming to LA completely shifts the mindset of this organization. The team was very busy the rest of the free agent period as well. Still made very aggressive plays as this is a team that is looking to win now. Capella, high post. Back to Paul. Well, time passed, and he goes straight okay, to the yeah. bucket for the layup. Oh, you can tell Paul is used to playing against block. physical defense. You got to do more than that to slow him down. And there's the pass to Beasley. Down low. AI right side. Knocked away. Dude, come on, do something with it. I'm stuck right here. Back to Zubats. Put it up. So it's oh Los my! Angeles winning this Come on, one. I needed assist. And man. the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And that about wraps it up for Chris Weber, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Almost there, I can almost upgrade my shot. Oh, hey, AI. What's up? Griff has a few questions for you, right this way. Okay, sure. Yo, what's up, Griff? How a you doing, man? AI, you really had a breakout game tonight. What would you say contributed most to your performance? Uh, yeah, I'd say the fans. biggest thing is the, uh, support I've been getting from the fans you know they've been cheering me on since day one and um and I've been working hard to give them a return on the investment man of the people of course probably helps that you got the win too I mean yeah it's always the number one job uh, but fans want it just as much as we do so when we get that job done you know everyone's happy spoken like a true veteran thanks again AI all right uh anything else no, I think you're good great oh, interview cool. hey thanks Griff